just simply walked in between them and was just eating chips and somebody captured it on their phone and it went viral. You can probably find it on YouTube. So that was another way of just simply distracting a situation. Yeah. Yeah, I would do the snack one. That's great. Yeah. Wait, Mary, did you have one? Oh yeah. I've actually done that. Uh, so I've been harassing a woman on the street has like, he's yeah, standing too close to her. I'm gonna go stand between him and her. And he was distracted and she ran away. And, uh, but I would rather have just been like, uh, oh, hey man, do you know how to get to Park Avenue? Yeah. <laughs> At the <laughs> Parkway from here? Uh, just sometimes ignoring what they're doing and get their attention. Especially in Bay Ridge, somebody wants to tell you where the best pizza is or where the best yes. you know, falafel. Like, ask, them, ask them something controversial, but not too controversial because we're de-escalating. Um, yeah. I uh, also had to do this this week because I was walking into a deli thinking about danishes and donuts and all of a sudden had to start thinking about direct and delegate and distract and delay. And I was able to just do that with the turn of the switch because I've had this training many times at this point. I think the first time uh, at an event sponsored by the mayor's office, uh, many years before I started at AAA and I am um, realizing I'm talking too much. No, it's okay. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Thank you, everyone that does this. Also, I realized like food is a really big scene everywhere. <laughs> So is with us, you know, like in our office, every conversation somehow ends up being involved with food. Mm -hmm. uh, no matter what the conversation is, somehow, some way, it just ends up being towards the food. What did you bring for lunch? What are you having? You know, like what are you having for dinner? And then, like in our community, in Indian community, if you would, you know, like there's this saying that once you have lunch, you start worrying about what you're gonna have for dinner. So that's you know, like really interesting. It's good to see, you know, like everybody's like that. Not just us, so yeah. that's yeah, good to know. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. One more way of distracting is to talk to the person who is the target of the hate crime and pull their attention away from the person, um, the perpetrator, I guess. And you strike up a conversation with them as if you know them. And maybe you talk to them about the best pizza or falafel in Bay Ridge. Yep. Um, and by engaging in this conversation and pointedly ignoring the person who is uh, perpetrating this hate crime, you foil them, frustrate them, and they will eventually give up and go away. Um, and you're also establishing that you're here for this person at this moment. Um, as strange as it might be for them for you to start talking to them, it's definitely preferable to sitting there alone and then receiving this abuse. That's actually something that really works, you know, like I once a friend of mine, we were, yeah, yeah, so hear you. a couple of friends, you know, we were just out for dinner up somewhere in the city and uh, a guy, one of our friends, you know, she walked out of the restaurant first and a guy started approaching her, you know, trying to talk to her. She obviously wasn't interested. Another colleague of mine, he saw that and he literally just walks up to her and puts her arm around here. Let's go, honey. How are you? You know, everything okay? It just like simply just you know good i never saw that before and it was amazing to see that like how easy that was but another thing you know that 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 really uh, got caught my attention there was that how aware my other colleague was about his surroundings and you know what was going around uh, going on around him so that's something i think you know which is really important for all of us thank you yeah that's great i think that's seems like the most surefire way of not escalating things further. Um, so thank you everyone. Um, and also that leads into the final D, delay. Check in with the person who was harmed after the incident and educate ourselves and our communities on why this happened. Yeah, so again, it's, it's not about being the hero. Uh, it's about supporting our community members. Um, so if you have any documentation, be sure to share that. and. Um, you know, and uh, step into your role as a community member and uh, educate yourself and the people around you on uh, why these things happen so they don't happen anymore.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, before, before we move on, I saw this beautiful drawing. Uh, is there someone specific at Dayford who did this? Oh, okay, I was just wondering. That we keep us safe? Yeah, Rebecca Katz. Okay, okay. Artwork by Rebecca Katz. Okay, thank you so much. I thought it was one of you, you know? <laughs> Um, I was going to ask uh, if we can actually act one of them out. What? So, yeah, can we role play just real quick to give people an idea of, uh, of uh, distract maybe. Can someone argue with me and then be someone else decide to be the distractor? No, I'm good. Take yeah. one. Take one. Yeah, yeah Alicia, Thank you. Can, I, uh, can, can I volunteer you? <laughs> or are we shy? We don't have to use the microphone. Okay, Mary, okay. Are, me and Mary are gonna argue about Fanafin. And then we need someone, someone's gonna have to break it up, okay? Okay, all right. I mean, me, it's gonna be me and you, we're gonna be arguing. Someone has to distract us. Or are we gonna be, are we hustling on? Or do you wanna, do you wanna distract? Okay. Can I count on someone in the crowd who, to distract it? Or are you guys going to keep us arguing? <laughs> I don't know how long I can be mean to y'all. Okay. We're going to start. You again. Where are you? I was just, I was just trying to go into the, I'm just trying to go into buy homes and finance. I've never seen you here before. I live in this community. I've been here for a long time. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you blocking my way? But after this, you know what? Role play with the mic. Hold it. Uh, but just to let you know, there always is heated conversations about Fanafi. Uh Because as you know, in Palestine, Palestinians eat Fanafin. And unfortunately, uh, we come across maybe some uh, Israelis who will claim, or, or, or other folks who will claim it doesn't uh, belong to us, or it's not part of our tradition, or... So it, it's a, it's. I thought it was a really good topic. It's like the love debate in West Africa. Yeah. Between the Nigerians and the Ghanaians, uh -huh. who makes the better to love rights, when it's really just to make at least people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. 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 Um, and also to the new folks who came, we have some water in the cooler just in case, because everyone it is a little so hot. So, and then. I want to do one more. I just want to do one more, you guys. Uh, can anyone suggest which one I wish I should do? Which one? Uh, we already did distract, right? Does anyone? Delegate? Okay. Okay. Will you be able to help us with delegate? Will you be able to help us? So response respond directly to the person causing harm or physically intervene if necessary be confident assertive and calm so i'm this time i'm going to cause harm upon mary <laughs> Can I count on you to to be the direct person we're doing direct right how could you how could you come in here and try to tell me otherwise? Just tell us that Vanessa will always be mine. You don't belong here. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. All right, get off the bat, Hummus. Everyone likes Hummus. It's okay. What do you mean? Do you, do you want some of this as well, man? I don't want none of nothing. I only want some of this. 
Then if this only works if she is the bead boy just steps away. Yeah. I mean, if she, if she's gonna argue with you or, you know, like, this is the best time of you know, like, we're running away. Yeah. You're gonna go after her. Okay. So, we do have, like, a full version of the training where there's the, uh, the tool kit, right? Yeah. Uh, this is just, like, basic kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just, but, yeah. no, no, you're right. Sometimes it's a different, it's a little bit different. Sometimes the person that's directly causing harm is physically harming. Yeah. So if I were to put my hands yeah. on Mary, oh, sorry, sorry. Hey, are you? No. Okay, I'm sorry. Everyone, thank God we have a microphone. Um, so in other situations, direct would have, would be more to do with, I would actually physically be harming Mary. Um, and so thank you for stepping up. Uh, can, uh, wait, remind us of your name again? Josh. Josh, thank you, Josh. Um, but other folks, if I actually had my hands on Mary, telling, like shaking her shoulders, what would you have done? Would you feel it's your responsibility to come in between us or to pull me off of Mary? Yes, okay, I'm very, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you so much. Yeah, she, so that's the other 5D. She said, I will document it. Yeah, thank you. Well, we have a question. What does the, um, the, the person being direct, what do they do? The person being direct, what do they do in the event that if, when the hostility is towards them and the physical harm is it towards them, the, like you don't want to start a fight, you know? The expert. So the per is it, I guess it's our favorite training response. Uh, so the hope is that because you as an ally are stepping in, that you are not as much a target of the hate crime as the person they are targeting, which will automatically lower the level of aggression. Um, but in any case, you're the one feeling empowered. You're choosing to step into the situation, which gives you power and authority and control that the victim doesn't have. Um, and yeah, they might just turn their attention to you and start harassing you. Um, and this is also why we delegate and we try to get other people around us to help out too, that, you know, we're a community and we have to look out for each other. Uh, thank you so much. Did anyone have any questions or wanted to add on to that? Because um, I'll give an example of uh, when I was uh, in one of these trainings, uh, there was an instance, uh, a colleague had uh, shared a story of, she was too afraid to intervene or like delegate or direct because uh, she had witnessed like an, uh, an argument of a couple outside of uh, a deli. And so she didn't want to call the police. So what she decided to do was, um, uh, she checked in with the victim after it was all over. Like she tried to lend her support after the argument was done because she knew she couldn't, she wouldn't be able to handle this guy if he tried to intervene since he seemed like such a hothead. So uh, that's one way that we can all show support to if like we're worried um, and you know you, you really can't take on the situation. I would say just like wait behind and ask if you can do anything for them. So that's, you know, checking in. Uh, and then I wanted to, I wanted to do a raffle. Did everyone get a raffle ticket? Yeah. Yep. Unless, does anyone have uh, any recommendations, anything else to suggest, any questions? We won't stop you. Everyone has one though, right? Yeah. Okay. You got one? You got one? Yep. Because we're going to pick three. So you got three times the chance. <laughs> uh, did Ranim and Kaylin get one? Okay. All right. Ranim, say hello. Everyone, This she's a part of our youth club. Yeah. And Kaylin is our youth organizer.